miss you guys a lot, but I want to welcome you to my music room at my house. I love to make music wherever I go, and so does Mr. Mullins, so we have a music room at home. Over here you see our guitars, one for me, one for Mr. Mullins, our mandolin that Mr. Mullins knows how to play, and I brought some instruments from my classroom like my xylophone and my auto harp. Today I thought we could just make some music together. So we're going to sing some songs that you know, and we're going to do a little rhythm reading, and we're going to finish it all up with a very fun story. So let's get started. All right. We are going to start reading our rhythms. Now, when we read rhythms, remember that this is ta. A quarter note is one sound on one beat. This is a pair of eighth notes, and we say toddy because it's two sounds on one beat. You're right. And then this is our quarter rest, and our quarter rest is how many sounds? Hmm. Zero sounds on one beat. You are so right. Let's read this together. One, two, clap and say. Ta, toddy, ta. Ta, toddy, ta. Toddy, 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 ta, ta. Very good. Okay, let me see if I can find a trickier one for you. Hmm, hmm, hmm. <gasps> Oh yeah, this one's tricky. Are you ready? One, two, clap and say. Ta, toddy, ta. Ta, toddy, ta. Toddy, ta, toddy, ta. Toddy, ta. Very good, okay. Now we've all had a little bit of practice with our half note. And our half note is one sound on two beats. So that means that it's a long sound. And when we clap a half note, it sounds like this. Two, can you try that with me? Two, okay, let's read this together. One, two, clap and say. Ta, ta, two, ta, ta, two, ta, 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 -di, ta, ta, -di, ta, two. Very good. All right, let's do one more that uses all four of our rhythms that we know. Keep your eyes open. Don't let this trick you. One, two, clap and say. Ta, di, ta, 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 di, ta, 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 di, ta, di, ta, ta, di, ta, two. Very good. Give your brain a big old kiss for working so hard. All right. Now, friends, last year our concert was about tall tales and short songs, and we sang some silly, silly songs. I thought today we could sing those songs together. We'll sing them one or two times to make sure they get back in your brain and make sure that you remember them. And I am using my guitar. My guitar has strings that I can pluck or strum. <coughs> so I will be using my guitar for Michael Finnegan begin again. There once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came up and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. Do you remember this one? I'm going to sing that first verse one more time. This time you sing with me. There once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came up, blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan began again. Oh, what happened? Oh, he goes fishing next. Are you ready? There once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He went fishing with a pin again. Caught a fish but dropped it in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. There once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He fell down and broke his shin again. Folks said, Mike, you'll never swim again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. 
once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He fell down and broke his shin again. Folks said, Mike, you'll never swim again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. Let's sing that first verse again about his whiskers. Once was a man named Michael Finnegan. He grew whiskers on his chin again. The wind came up and blew them in again. Poor old Michael Finnegan begin again. Oh, that was so fun. I love silly songs like that. Are you ready for another silly song? We start on top of old Smokey, but we end up on top of spaghetti. On top of old Smokey, all covered with snow, I lost my true lover for courting too slow. For courting's a pleasure and pardon. A false-hearted lover is worse than a thief. Are you ready for the silly words? Here we go. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese, I lost my poor meatball. When somebody sneezed, it rolled off the table and onto the floor. And then my poor meatball rolled right out the door. If you eat spaghetti, all covered with cheese hold on to your meatball whenever you sneeze oh I, I don't know if you made it through that song without laughing it sure does make me giggle now the next song we learned a dance to. So I want you, I'm going to sing it two times. I want you to sing it with me the first time. And then the second time, see if you remember our dance for Buffalo Gals. Buffalo Gal, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight. Come out tonight. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight and dance in the light of the moon? As I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street, a pretty little gal I chanced to meet. Oh, she was fair to see. Are you ready? We're going to try the dance now. Get up. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight and dance in the light of the moon? We'll try that one more time. Here we go, and then I'll go to the verse. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight and dance in the light of the moon? As I was walking, as I was walking down the street, down the street, down the street, a pretty little gal I chanced to meet, oh, she was fair to see. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight? Come out tonight, come out tonight. Buffalo gal, won't you come out tonight and dance in the light of the moon? Oh, that one is so fun. Okay, our next one is a very silly song, and I've even got some pictures that I'll show you, too, for Down by the Bay.
down by the bay where the watermelons grow back to my home I dare not Did you ever see a goose kissing a moose? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Have you ever seen a llama wearing pajamas? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Have you ever seen a whale with a polka dotted tail? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow, back to my home. I dare not go, for if I do, my mother will say. Have you ever seen a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, watermelons grow. Have you ever seen a bear combing his hair down by the bay? Okay, I'm going to sing it one more time, and you are going to insert your own rhyme. So be thinking. Get ready. It's going to come. Are you thinking of what could rhyme? A silly rhyme. Down by the bay. Very good, friends. I hope you can share that song with somebody in your house because it's such a fun song and you can fill it with lots of silly rhymes. All right, I am going to share a story with you and this story, like our songs, is kind of silly. It's called Never Play Music Right Next to a Zoo. A zoo, music at the zoo. And it's by John Lithgow. He's the person who wrote it. And we call the person who writes books an author. And the illustrator is Lisa Hernandez. And the illustrator is the person who writes the pictures. Not writes pictures, you draw pictures. Oh my goodness, I'm so silly. All right, here's our story. Never play music right next to the zoo. I went to a concert when I was a lad, no older than many of you. I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad at a band shell right next to the zoo. He doesn't look very excited about going to the, the band concert. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted with rage. A band of wild animals was storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you may do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beach each beast and each bird des desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and raccoons will steal away trumpets, the flutes and bassoons. <sighs> Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass, the percussions were manned by the camel. 
The yak played the sax until red in the face. A surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret, the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo, the hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a, su a superabundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clatter, the audience calmly continued to stare, as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with terror, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and these creatures all safely recaptured. But since by the minute I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. There's the animal orchestra. Oh. <clears throat> they finished and each put his instrument down, then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo, or evening gown, and hurried back home to their cage. Then each reminisced, so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear, You better wake up or we're leaving you here! Oh, children, remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear it in mind for the rest of your days. Don't fall asleep while an orchestra plays. Friends, I love that story, and I love that we've gotten to make some music together, even though we're not all in the same room. I hope that you keep singing, and I look forward to seeing you. Bye! Next, see you next time!